Hi guys. Hey there. Um. <laughs> it's been an eventful day. Yeah, where do we start we've to cried, explain we've, the day? Yeah, we've lost a little bit at times. Yeah, well, I don't even know where to start. Um, well, let's start... Mm. Dad? Um, well, <laughs> we went to church, and our boys went to the child care because they brought up the idea of, why don't you guys just go enjoy church and, you know, mingle with some new people that we've not really met since it would be... And we Our did, and it was week, lovely. It was absolutely lovely. Getting to chat a little and relax a bit. We took the boys last week, and it was great too, but they like to run all over the place. First hour is really um, hard. And the first time at a new church is hard on them. Um, but anyways, so to the real reason why we're here. Um, yeah, we got a call from the child care this afternoon. No, don't freak out. We're <laughs> freaking out. Um, Brent had gotten out. Um, and was him. missing. They looked for him, couldn't find him. Um, we had called 911. He's got a GPS tracker through the local sheriffs. Um, we started calling them. We started rushing over there. Luckily, we were only 15 minutes away instead of an hour, which Sometimes would typically be. Um, it was terrifying. It was. I drove 100 plus. It was pretty scary. Um, on the phone with 911. Um... Uh, the well the the dispatcher informed us that um oh well we had just had a boy picked up by a, a citizen and he is in their vehicle waiting for the police to respond um so we knew he'd been picked up at least so there was at least that he wasn't getting hit by a car um or you know any number of things um but yeah and then when we get there this boy, ridiculousness, you guys, you know, won't get out of the car and is trying to buckle himself into the guy's back seat. Can't barely keep his seatbelt on in our car. You know, right? I'm trying Stealing to pull him out. Pizza He's out yelling at me. His, a box in his car. Yeah, Brent's yelling at me trying to put his seatbelt on in the back seat of this Four guy's car. Four police cars and like seven you know, This guy's officers. car is surrounded by police and this guy's like, oh my gosh, like someone just get this kid out of my car. And they, they ask us, do you know this guy? And, um,. Weirdly. Weirdly, we do. On the way there, I, I told Denise uh, that, you know, I know somebody from church picked him up. And, sure, and enough. sure enough, he went to church that week, recognized Brent. He's walking down a busy road right down the middle Mind of you, it. He'd seen Brent the week before at church, because right. we didn't take Brent to church that day. Right. And he uh, he went, you know, kind of freaked out, said, hey, buddy, get in the car. And Brent turned from a busy road and walked From his... walking down the middle on the lines of a busy road heading towards very very busy either roads. a highway or a very very busy road yes um yeah had filed the whole police report got him locked in the car went home i'm still kind of in shock about it all i've cried she hasn't it hurt yeah yeah it's rough it's a lot with special needs kiddos um, we wanted to post a video just to let you all know kind of what happened. Um, and we will, um, go live later and I'll let you guys know when to have you guys actually ask some questions and fill you guys in more. Um, but he's okay. He, he's home and asleep now and grounded for a while. <laughs> he has to stay home. He doesn't get a throw <laughs> fit. He still does. Um, <laughs> But, yeah, we're grateful that he's safe and okay and, yeah, just wanted to share intense. with you guys. It was. It was hard. But, yeah, so I just wanted to share with you guys what we went through today and, oh, it is Sunday, too. It's always on the Sunday. It's always Sundays the Sabbath. Sundays are always intense. <laughs> mm. um, but, yeah, it's been a festive Sabbath for us, you guys. Um, love mm. you all and we'll... Be in touch soon.